Hello friends, Satyendra here and this particular video I made to clear some of the doubt which I got from my subscriber about deleting the dimension inside the sketch. So in this video I will talk about all the dimensions available in the sketch and then I will show you how to delete this dimension inside the sketch. So let's get started. And for this I will start with a new file and I will go for sketch, front datum plane, sketch, normal. Switch off all the datums. Now follow the best sketching practice and for that first you place a center line, draw first entity just like this, add the dimension immediately. This is 120. Now add the rough sketch. Mirror this entire sketch. I will just delete this equal constant. These two lines are not equal. Now I will add one more dimension from here till here. This dimension I will lock it. Now if you see this sketch you will see that there are three type of dimensions available. This particular dimension is dark brown, this is light blue and this is dark blue. So this shows that we have three kind of dimensions here. Now this light blue dimensions, this is called the weak dimensions inside the sketch. The dark blue dimension is the strong dimension inside the sketch and this brown dimension is the log dimension inside the sketch. So these weak dimensions are the minimum dimensions which is required to make this sketch fully constant. So these dimensions are just like no dimension but Creo provide these weak dimensions just to help us to understand how many dimensions we need to constrain the entire sketch. So in some cases you will find that Creo does not give the exact dimension, it adds some alternative dimensions. So you have 90 degree here but instead of adding dimension here, it is adding here. So these all are weak dimensions. So now you need to decide whether you will go with this dimension or you will create a new dimension. So I will create a new dimension like this. So the moment you add this dimension, this dimension will go. So still you need three dimensions to make this sketch fully constrained. Now when you have a strong dimension or a log dimension, you can easily delete it. So see when you delete this dimension, it adds a weak dimension here. So again I can go with the dimension and I can add this dimension. So the moment I added this dimension, this dimension gone. So you can even delete the strong dimension. But the moment you delete strong dimension, one weak dimension will be created by the Creo parametric. Now if you go with dimension display, you can hide all the dimensions. If you go with constraint display, you can hide all the constraint. But if in case you are coming from some other tool background, then you may not feel comfortable with this weak dimension. So in that case, these weak dimensions, you can easily hide it. And for that, you can go with file, options, then go to sketcher. And here you have one option called show weak dimensions. Just uncheck it and say OK. Now if you say yes and save it to your config.pro, then this setting will be permanently saved and if you say no, then this setting will be just for this file. So once you close this file and open a new file, you need to do the same setting once again. So now you can see that you do not have any weak dimension. So in case if you delete any strong dimension, still you are not getting any weak dimension. Now if you add other dimensions, it will come. But this way you will never know that how many dimensions your sketch is still missing. So I personally does not prefer this setting. So I can revert it back again by the same setting. I will select it, say OK and just say no. Now you see still one dimension is missing. 
So, the moment I add this dimension, the big dimension is gone. Now, I can simply modify these dimensions. And I can say OK. And this is how we complete the sketch. So, the conclusion is you have three kind of dimensions inside the sketch, weak dimension, strong dimension and log dimension. You can delete strong dimensions and log dimensions, but you cannot delete the weak dimension because these dimensions are already considered as deleted dimension. So, these dimensions are there just to help you, but still you can hide these dimensions if you need. So, that is it from this video. Now, like the video if you find this video helpful and I will see you in my next video. Thank you.